morning and welcome to Cornbread's Corner. We're going to talk about fishing journals today. And I'm kind of literally in the corner as you can see and there's a nice little pheasant above me flying around. So <clears throat> uh, for years I've kept this fishing journal, Fishing Tales of Cornbread. And in it I record dates, places, the kind of bait I use, the success I had. Uh, sometimes I'll go back and get my yearly totals of various fish or a yearly total of uh, certain lakes or maybe a 10 year total of certain lakes and see which ones have been the most prolific. I also include photos. So I'm gonna show you this a little bit and show you what it's like. I really enjoyed doing this. So in the beginning here, I made a sketch of some fish on the bottom there. But it starts off 2011. And like I said, I include photos. Uh, over here, I have how many? Oh, I got skunk there and strawberry. Oh. And uh, oh, I got skunk again, Rockport. That was about 12 years ago. So uh, over the years, here we go. Here's some more. I got some great pictures. Oh, there's a few cuts really caught up in Schofield. And uh, <clears throat> more ice fishing, 2013. Ah, okay, so uh, as you can see, it's a lot of fun, nice picture, oh, look at that ugly guy right there, okay, so there's my ice um, fishing pole and hole in my fish finder there. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. I used to take this, for, for a year I had this card here and stuck it right there. This is exactly how many fish I caught while ice fishing that season. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, there's a bunch of white bass I caught. Yeah. Okay, here's some more. Oh, there's a lot of them right there. This encourages me when I don't like, see, there's some zeros, zero, two, two. Helps me know. Oh, you suck. No, you do. Yeah, you both do. Okay. Sucking my power bait off, probably. It's slipping away. A few cartoons. Oh, I'm up fishing up here in the winter. December. Boy, it was cold. I remember pulling that one in. I about froze to death. And uh, 2017. I even went um, snowshoeing and fished off the bank up at Deer Creek. Caught one right there, as you can see. Okay. So, anyway, uh, you may want to. Oh, here's fishing in Provo River down by the Utah Lake. Some white bass. There's something to uh, look into. So it goes, I got it for. Oh, there's a board I use when I, in this in March when the edges get a little soft. I got that. I haul that once in a while. I'm fishing with my grandkids and my, and my son. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at this one. This is a funny one here. This guy, where'd he go? Back here. So we were fishing... Uh, near Lake. I caught this guy right in the back. I was fishing with a fly in a bubble. I hooked him right in the back. That was fun. Okay. So, you may want to think about keeping some kind of fishing journal. I know some of you may do that. And here's last year. So I'll go through here and see at the end of the year what my total is for different lakes and what my success ratio is. Anyway, something you can plan, and my last one was up there, Chicken Creek West, I caught one. All right, well, happy fishing.